Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Bauer and this is Brew York, the show that's gonna show you exactly where to get the perfect craft beer in the perfect location, only on bizcaster.tv. So as you can see, we're just steps away from the Empire State Building. And if you're there checking it out and you want to have some great craft beer, head on down to 14 East 33rd Street. It's Rattle and Hum. So after you walked up all those steps on the Empire State Building, you come on down to Rattle and Hum, and you're thinking, man, I really want a beer. But I, I kind of, I'm not into craft beer that much. But you know what? Rattle and Hum has you covered. If you look up here, they have the Rattle and Hum suggestions list. They're going to give you the craft beer equivalent of that beer, which is, a, which is just great for anyone that's kind of new to craft beer. They have the tables set up on barrels that beer was actually made in. So it's really, really neat. They got stools for you here. Or you can set up over by the bar and where you're gonna find the draft list, which they have 40 beers on draft. And then the coolest part, in my opinion, is this right over here. This map of all the microbreweries that they offer right here at Rattle and Hum from all over the country. They got founders up there, they got Great Divide. They got so much going on here that it's unbelievable. But you know what? Enough with the tour. Let's have some beer, huh? So another great thing about Rattle and Hum, not only is the amazing beer selection, it's the food. And I just saw this on here. They have something called IPA fries, okay? I needed to get those. What do you think goes best with IPA fries? That's right, an IPA. So we have IPA coming also, but you can actually buy one of these growlers. The growler is $6 just for this, and that's really cheap. I gotta tell you, that's cheap for this size of a growler. And you can come in here and you can fill it, take it home, and enjoy rattling home at your house or apartment. That's unbelievable. And the really cool thing about this place is they have something called the Mug Club, okay? Now the Mug Club is you have to try 40 different styles of beer in four weeks. Once you get and you try them all, you get this Rattle and Hum mug and you get your name engraved on there. And the really cool thing is it stays here. It doesn't go home with you. They hang it on top of these little things they have hanging from the bar. So that's really cool. That's the Mug Club. And that's another great feature right here at Rattle and Hum. But, uh, oh, I see our food coming. So let's check it out. All right, so lunch is here, and another great feature here at Rattle and Hum is the beer flights they have. You can try out four different styles of beer, and they write on the actual bottle what you're having. So it's really cool if you don't remember, like, oh, what's, what's the name of this beer? Boom, right there. So the ones that I got were, uh, one, the Coney Island uh, Mermaid Pilsner, which is suggested by Rattle and Hum to be pretty similar to a Coors. So let's give that a shot and see if it's any good. It's very good, and it is very similar to a uh, to a Coors or a Butter or a Miller, and uh, it's very good. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it at the end, which is really good. I'm gonna jump over here to the Great Divide uh, Scotch Stout, which is from Colorado. Uh, it's pretty dark, so dark that it kind of intimidates me, and I'm a beer drinker. But let's see how it is. Wow. Ooh, wow. This is nicely, nicely crafted to the point where it's not overwhelming. It's a perfect dark stout to have um, on a fall day, I would say. It's really, really nice. It, it gets you a little warm, but it's not overpowering. So the last one I have is the O'Hara's Celtic Stout, which is also on the suggestion board here at Rattle and Hum, and it's supposed to be just like a Guinness. So let's give it a shot and see how it matches up to the actual Guinness. If I didn't know any better, that would, she gave me a Guinness. I would not have known any better, but let's not forget the IPA that we have here, the Founders IPA, but of course, let's match it up with these great IPA fries that they offer here at Rattle and Hum. These fries are made in-house. They're brined in an IPA, so it's really, really good. So let's give it a shot. They have a good consistency to them. They have a very nice, they're, they're not overcooked, they're not undercooked, they're not too crispy, and they're not too soggy. They're really, really nicely done, and you can taste just the small hint of IPA. Now, I bet when I wash it down, it's gonna bring out the flavor in the fries a little bit more. I bet that's gonna happen. And it did. 
because what happens is what it's brining is the IPA, which is pretty much the same thing that you see here. So when you actually have the taste of IPA going down after you just had some fries, you're actually going to taste the IPA in the fries a little bit more because your palate is used to it. Don't miss this place. It is the place to be in New York City when it comes to craft beer. It's 14 East 33rd Street. It's Rattle and Hum. Come down and get some fries. Man, that's good.